Hey guys, what's up? So this should be my last MP7 video. So after the last video I did, when I completed assembly, I did go out and I did shoot it. Um, I did have some issues with this build, which totally sucks because this is an awesome build. Um, ignore my workstation. It is an absolute mess. Excuse me right now. <laughs> but um, anyways... I just wanted to go over those few things and correct it and just cover one really big issue that I had. Or two really big issues. So, first off, in the rear I said use M5 bolts. You actually use quarter inch pins. I guess you could use M6 pins being if that's the same size. but Or M6 screws, my bad. But you're actually supposed to use quarter inch pins. And it is a much tighter fit back here. Um, I did go to go shoot it with how I had set it up in the last video and that ultimately caused this build to unfortunately fail. I had a massive crack up here, which I will show you guys. And this whole rear end was just ever so slightly loose. And I believe that's what caused the back end to fail. But I do know that this tab was a big source of issues whenever this design was in beta testing sorry i don't have the bipod i don't know if i've said it already but here's you're just gonna have to deal with it for this video Pop out that rear pin okay so what i went ahead and did to this rear pin area right there you can see it, it does not look pretty at all and that's because uh I went and I inlaid wire in here and I actually did melt the wire into the plastic and then I went ahead and melted some extra plastic that I had laying around from this this uh, support material. I went ahead and melted that over to try to smooth it out as much as possible. Um, this is more so a structural thing. I believe I had seen someone do it on the original MP40 or UMP45 design. I believe the creator of that recommends inlaying a uh, micro mesh. However, I did not have micro mesh and I could not get it all that quick. So I went ahead and just cut some uh, standard wire I had laying around. And I did inlay the copper in here so it does come all the way back here, wraps all the way around, and comes and interfaces with this area here. So that inlaid wire here should greatly support this area. <clears throat> the only thing was I did have to go out and or did have to go and clean out the hole which right now I don't know why it does not want to close there we go so yeah those are two major things I did want to touch up on um, another major thing is my I believe in one of my videos where I assembled the frame i said make sure you test it i did not heed my own advice so i bought a km tactical 17 upper pop that open real quick so you guys can look at it this upper with the internals just did not want to work the tolerances were completely off um i actually ended up completely swapping out the internals of this slide with obviously with the exception of the barrel for uh oem glock 17 parts and now this thing functions completely as normal. Um, I don't know what it was with the cam tactical parts, but they simply put, they were out of spec. And that just was not a good thing. And it made this build suffer as a whole. But now that I have it all together, um, I have test fired this latest version where I've fixed everything. And it does work. I really just wanted to put this last video out there so... Whoops. I can't get that pin in with one hand. I gotta really press down hard on that. Can't do it with one hand, but I just really wanted to put this last video out there because I completely got this wrong and I just feel like um, with the support of the rear hole or rear pin hole uh, with a little bit of wire or micro mesh, whatever you guys decide to use, just be careful with that. 
and I really feel like this design does benefit from that. It's a very thin area, especially if you're printing in PLA+. Plus. Um, this was printed in Polymaker, Polylite, PLA Pro, or PLA+. Plus. Um, it's what everyone's using. This is not eSun. This is Polymaker. Uh, it just could not handle that stress, and it did end up cracking on me. But I have yet to have it crack on me uh, since I've inlaid this metal uh, metal wire support i guess is what you could call it and like i said it's worked flawlessly thank you guys for watching um i'll probably be doing another video series on making a whole build um i'm probably going to be doing it on the famar the basically the 3d printer from moss that uses the r15 internals i've already started printing several parts for that uh, my Volkslab Aquila decided to take a shit on me, so I'm in the process of trying to get it to run properly again. Uh, once I do, I should hopefully, when I get the money and the parts and all that good stuff, I should hopefully be having another uh, build series for you guys. Hopefully soon. But thank you guys so much for watching.